and if they can't, then they either wear the suntan lotion that we have produced or put on T-shirts. Okay, now the suntan lotion. This is this is good against the sun, or mm-hmm. yeah, we have uh, we have it specially made for us actually by a um, a laboratory in Texas, and it's called Safe and Natural. Okay, so you can put it on everywhere. Is what you're everywhere, saying. you bet. Okay, this is this is very interesting. Well, so uh, what, what, what do you have? How often do you have these these uh, get together? I mean, it's, it's been going on since the third, and it's going on through the weekend. Oh yeah, this is just this one week, but our beaches are open all the time. We're we're going to be going to. Um, Turtle Lake Resort in Michigan um, next week oh, for, yeah. for a gathering. I know where that's at. You know where that's at. <laughs> yeah, See, there you go. Turtle so, Lake. Yep, we'll be going there um, next week, Wednesday, and Thursday the gathering starts. We'll be there from Thursday till Sunday next week. And um, Now, do you have to, like, get, well, I'm really fascinated with this. I mean, it's, this is the first for me. I mean, you know, I feel like, you know, when I was a kid and I wanted to be in that new beach in Florida, I, mm-hmm. I feel like I finally got my, uh, <laughs> well, my chance to ask questions this, here. You come and join us. Okay, now, how, do you have to, like, get a permit or something to do to to uh, be there on the beach, or, or how does that work? No, uh-uh, no, there's no law against nudity on federal land. Um, oh, the feds say okay, but the, <laughs> yeah, the, but state, the state says no ask. way. Um, actually, we have a really good rapport with our rangers. Um, in fact, <laughs> we've been, I'm sorry. How do well, you we, we challenged them to a, to a volleyball contest several years ago. Uh-huh. And, uh, the and loser, they lost, right? Well, the losers had to take their clothes off, and they played very well, <laughs> chickens. But uh, as far as the resorts go, um, oh, you know, no special permits. They're all off the road, and um, they're closed to the general public. Although, for New Recreation Week, a lot of our clubs are having open houses so that the uh, clothes community can come in and see that it's not all sex and violence right, or whatever. Right, it's yeah. just normal people doing normal, everyday things. Okay. All right, this is this is very fascinating. I, I think we should talk more. This well, is good. This, this is good. I like this. <laughs> good. Well, you make sure you stay on and give me your address, and I'll send you a magazine, and right. we'll, we'll see if we can't get you to come over here and visit us. I I will. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty shy, but I'll, I'll give it my best. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, Mickey, right? Yep. Okay. Thank you very much, Mickey. Thank you. You'll think about it. Yeah, I even I even hate to uh, wear flip flops to show my feet. You know, oh. so come on. <laughs> I am so excited. This just makes my week. <laughs> okay. And, and what else makes your week is the big dog show that's going on, right? We are very excited. We're still going to the dogs down here at the Art Museum. with our. We have the dog illustration show that we've had up. Uh, and tomorrow we're having a dog show. It's called the Love My Dog Show at 2 o'clock on Sunday in Hackley Park, rain okay. or shine. I hope right. we're going to have shine. Yeah. Well, the, now, this is going to be ha- right, right in Hackley Park, then. Right in Hackley Park. Okay. I thought yeah. it was supposed to be right in the museum. Well, I'll tell you. They, they really weren't wild about having dogs <laughs> in the museum. <laughs> I don't know why. I had, uh, we had a tough time convincing our boss, and he really didn't go for it. Oh, okay. So we're going to have it in Hackley Park. And we are, it is open to any kind of dog, any age, any size, any shape, any color. Uh, and we've got lots of really fun ones already registered. We're in, there's no charge. Uh, we're encouraging kids to show off their dogs. Is what, is what it is. So they can bring. We have everything from a teacup Chihuahua to a two-year-old German Shepherd who likes to eat tennis shoes. Okay. Those are the pe- kinds that are registered so far. It's also sponsored by Hackley Library and the Greater Muskegon Kennel Club. So everybody gets a prize for participating. We've got gourmet dog biscuit <laughs> treats. <laughs> which Ooh, save one for me, Melissa. I, well, you know, I'm gonna. I am because everyone says they're really good. Really. <laughs> Edible I, for people too. So you think you think we'll get a chance to try one? What do you think? I I think they could be good. You go. You got. If I do, if you do it though, I'll do it. All right. What do you, you think? You Is got it, a deal. A deal. You got a deal. So if I I see you down there. We're going to eat dog biscuits, right? I will do that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to take that dare. <laughs> I don't know if I had that much guts. I don't know. <laughs> I think it could be fun. Uh, see, I remember eating those when I was a kid. Well, I think, on a dare. I you know. know, I think they've, they've probably come up with a lot more interesting formulas and, and, and tastes than, than they so. had. So uh, I, yeah. I, I still almost guarantee you they'll taste like cardboard. Well, I don't know. Well, we'll, have to, we'll have to find out. We'll dip them in chocolate and see there what happens. There you go. Yeah, a little, little gourmet uh, dog biscuit with chocolate Anything on with it chocolate fine. on it is much better, <laughs> isn't it? This is true. This is true. So we're going to have the dog show, and we encourage everybody to come down. We just require that you have your dog on a leash and under control. Just okay. imagine, you know, uh, tons of dogs in Hackley Park, and oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, that, that could be scary, especially when, when you and I are over there eating dog biscuits in the corner. They could come attack us. You <laughs> we never know. could become be mobbed by the dog. <laughs> That's right. All right. So is, is, is anybody required to bring pooper scoopers with them or no? Um, we will probably be having our own pooper scooper patrol. Okay. I so think that's ha- probably going to be my duty. Oh, 
Lucky you, eating dog biscuits and eating pooper dog scooper biscuits patrol. And pooper good, scooping. good. It's going to be fun because Sunday is also the last day to see the Speak uh, Dog Illustration exhibit. So this is kind of our closing uh, hurrah uh, for the exhibition. We've had lots of fun and lots of really great programs. And this is, this is our closer. Okay, sounds good. So uh, there's a big stuff set up for next week. We'll talk about that or what? Uh, yes, we've always got big stuff happening here at big the museum. Stuff. <laughs> big stuff at the museum. <laughs> yeah. Besides gourmet dog biscuits. That's okay. right. Yeah, we're going to be done with the dog thing here uh, uh, this week. So we'll uh, have some more stuff. Uh, let's be honest with me. Are you going to be happy about when, when it's done with the dogs or what? Yeah, we've kind of uh, we've kind of had the dog thing here for a while, so yeah, we'll be on to the next. We had the spam thing last week, and that was definitely enough. One week was <laughs> enough for the spam for me. Spam. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. I got I got a spam magnet for you too. I think we have some leftover stuff here. Oh, I am excited. Did you eat some of that? Uh, yeah. Then if you'll eat that, you'll eat dog biscuits. Oh, probably. Yeah, it's probably tastes about pr probably the dog biscuits probably taste better. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not a big I'm not a big spam lover. I found that out. I realized why I haven't eaten eaten spam in so long. I realize that now. Oh, that's scary stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Melissa. Thanks a lot. And we'll talk to you again next week. Very good. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. We're talking with Carolyn Hartman. I'm beating things up over here. And you're from Mackinac. And now tell me exactly what, what you're in charge of. Oh, well, I work for the Mackinac State Historic Parks. Okay. And that includes Fort Mackinac and Mackinac Island State Park on Mackinac Island, and then Colonial Michelin Mackinac and Historic Mill Creek in Mackinac City. Okay. So you're, you're like in charge of a lot of stuff. Well, yeah. I'm, that's, I'm I mean, that's a pretty good size island, you know. Oh, well, we're... I work for Mackinac Island State Park, yeah, which know, is 80% yeah. of the island. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Only 80%. Yes, oh, that's that's you know the other the other thirty percent. That's on. the other uh, twenty percent is mostly the downtown Mackinac Island area. Okay. Um, and my mathematics is really bad. I, <laughs> I said thirty, didn't I? Oh, okay. oh that's okay. <laughs> it's early, right? Yeah, right. Okay, so you're only in charge of eighty percent, so that's not a problem. I mean, yeah, the person that's charged of twenty percent probably has much more my head headaches than you have, right? Well, he's got all the downtown area, which is oh, bustling course. with activity that's all summer. True. There you go. Okay, so will you take what are the care of the care of the horse carriages and stuff then? Is that what you're saying? Well, we're in charge <laughs> of the historic sites, uh, okay. Fort, historic Fort Mackinac on uh -huh. Mackinac Island, okay. um, where we have demonstrations every day. We have rifle firings. We have soldiers in 1880s American military costumes, and we have, uh, you know, our reenactors there every day. We have women um, that are dressed also in period costume, and they do kids programs. Um, from June 15th to Labor Day, and right now we have all all the 14 original buildings open up for people to tour okay. in the fort. Okay, you know, because when I was there, I was, I was a kid, of course, it's been so long since I've been to uh, Mackinac, and um, you, I didn't really know, my parents and all didn't really know where to go in the, right. to these different areas, because, you know, they, you really don't know unless you're you're there and you set everything up beforehand. So right. is there a way to do that, so you can set up to, to where you want to go and what you want to do? Sure. Um, there's lots of, you know, we can send out information from the Mackinac State Historic Parks. We have a um, calendar of events that lists all of our events through the whole year, and we're happy to send it out to anybody who requests it. Okay. And also the Mackinac Island Chamber of Commerce has all kinds of events going on, including the Lilac Festival and things throughout the year. Don't you think that would be a better thing to do then, is to, to set things up, is to get a, uh, something from you so that way they can set it up to... Sure, what that they way they can where they know exactly go. when they want to come and what's happening when, and right. you know they can kind of plan their trip ahead of time if they want to. Okay. And especially this year, what's important for us is it's the 100th anniversary of Mackinac Island State Park. So saying. we're having lots of special centennial events going right. on. Okay. So uh, lots of gun shooting and fireworks, right? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> lots of fun. Okay, so you, um, what what's the big thing coming up? Is, is there a big thing happening for Memorial Weekend then, or what? Well, actually, in Mackinac City, um, the big thing happening there this weekend is the Memorial Weekend pageant, uh -huh. um, and that's where they have a community reenactment of historic events that took place at uh, the fort in 1763. Okay. Um, so they have a parade. They have the reenactment Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, so that's a really big community program going on, and that the public is invited. Everyone is invited. Okay, so since, since it's Sunday, Saturday morning, they can still make it down there and, and catch most of the events that are going on. Then, yeah, the, the parade is at 1 o'clock, and then the, the pageant actually is at 3.30. Oh, okay. So they've got plenty of time to get up here. There you go. So make a nice long, especially, you know, get, get out of this 
icky weather we're having here right now. Maybe it's, it's a little nicer over there? It's really sunny and blue and warm up here. Okay. All right. See, there you go. <laughs> There's the opportunity for you to get out of this gloominess here. Yeah, we hope it stays this way. Yeah, really. Okay. Um, so that, that's one of the events coming up. Are you going to keep us... Can you keep us up to date on maybe possibly sure. what's coming up through... We'll uh, keep you up to date. We've got events going on all... You know, practically every weekend, all summer long. So okay. we'll keep you up to date. Okay, Carolyn, so maybe I can just uh, contact you uh, maybe on a weekly basis or bi-weekly basis on what's what's happening uh, in Mackinac. That sounds great. Okay. Well, thanks for talking with me today. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Home source cards accepted. Good morning. Good morning, Oscar. How are you? This is Lee Isuko, and you're from Muskegon. You're the uh, caricaturist of Muskegon, I think. I think. I think you're the only caricaturist of Muskegon. Well, I don't know about that. The most visible one, anyway. Sometimes. We see you everywhere. Sometimes. Yeah, okay. Okay, now, Lee, you and I go back a little bit because um, <laughs> you were my teacher at one point. Uh, oh, well, four years ago? Four or five years ago, we figured? Over at Baker College. Yeah, Baker, Co Baker College. Yeah, okay. You uh, you taught me well. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Will you, will you take credit for that? I'll take credit from whatever for, source I can get it. For anything, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I, 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 you passed me anyway. Put it that way. So. And, you survived uh, me. That's what it amounts to. What's that? You survived me. I so, exactly. You're tough. You are tough. You're a tough teacher. So if you go to Baker College and you, t you have uh, Lee Suko's class, you're going to have a you're going to have a tough teacher, but an entertaining teacher because during the whole time when you were teaching me, you uh, you do your caricatures and stuff to uh, you know just kind of like for diagrams to show you what how things uh, worked, right? Oh, I guess you're talking about those uh, overhead slides or yeah, transparencies. Okay. Right. Yes, I use a lot of that. Okay, now, I, I saw Lee uh, last week over at the um, Muskegon Community College for the Mayfest, and you were doing something there. What exactly was that about? Well, we had a display put up again, as we have most every year for a while now, called the Cartoonists of West Michigan. Okay. But unfortunately, my partners couldn't be there, and so I was the cartoonist of West, of West Michigan, Michigan see, this, this year. See, I told you you were the cartoonist of West Michigan. You were the caricaturist of West Michigan. See? Well, <laughs> I had in the display, though, a lot of drawings done by friends of mine all around the country. Okay. So far beyond West Michigan. Oh, okay. Computer buddies, we exchange drawings. Oh, really? By, we send them back and forth by U.S. mail, but we communicate Oh, you don't, you don't, uh, through the okay, so you don't fax them anything. You don't fax them or anything, you just... No. Okay. Yeah, okay, I suppose that would kind of take away from it a little bit, too, if you faxed it in. Yeah, yeah. take away some of our money. I don't have the money to pay oh, for a fax go. machine. Oh, there you go. There you go. My son is one of your biggest fans. Of course, every time he sees you and whatever um, place you, you're at, he always stays there the whole time. We always know where we can find Nathan because he's over watching watching Lee draw his pictures. So. Uh, Nathan Osbro, the artist. Yeah, yeah, well, he wants to be. He wants to be. And... Um, when we talked before, we talked about um, how Nathan uh, got a, it was like the last three, four years they've gotten characters drawn by you, and like my daughter has one of uh, her.